It's the magic of math here, and today I have a lesson for you on circles, where we will be discussing the radius of a circle, the diameter of a circle, the circumference of a circle, and last but not least, the area of a circle. Let's begin today by understanding the objectives of today's lesson. You, the student, will find the circumference of a circle given the radius or diameter. You will also find the area of a circle given the radius or diameter, and you will find the radius of a circle when given the circumference. The question I'd like you thinking about today as I go through the lesson, how can you use what you know about solving equations to find the radius of a circle given the circumference? So we're gonna bring in some review of solving an equation. To begin, I want to make sure you understand some key vocabulary words that I'll be using. We have the definition of a circle. A circle is the set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a given point called the center. So here we have a circle, and here is the center of the circle. So you can't see it, but there's an infinite amount of points that make this outside border. It's curved and closed, and it extends all the way around. And every point on this outside edge is the same distance from the center. They're the same distance from the center. We could measure that distance using what we call a radius. The radius is the distance from the center of a circle to any point on the circle. So when we go from the center to the outer side, the edge here, the curved edge, we have the radius. Center to the outside edge, which there's a point there. Remember, this is an infinite amount of points that all together make it look closed. And then we have a diameter. Our diameter goes from edge through the center to the edge. Very important that it's the distance across the circle through its center. If this segment does not pass through the center, it is not the diameter. You'll learn about that in high school. It's called a chord. To be the diameter, it has to pass through the center. So the radius is from the center to the outside. And then we have a cross from one side of the circle through the center to the other side of the circle. All right, let's talk about the relationship between the diameter and the radius because there is one. When we talk about D for diameter, that is equal to 2 multiplied by R for the radius. So if we look at our circle and we have a radius that goes from, any, from the center to any point on the outer side, we can redraw this so that we have a radius and a radius. So you can see now I've got three radii highlighted on my circle. One, two, three. When I put two together, passing through the center like this, because the radius always touches the center, it becomes the diameter. So the diameter is equal to two radius, two times r. When we talk about the radius, r, that's equivalent to half the diameter. So if I take one of these away, now it's half. So one, two, two radius, two times r is diameter, Half of diameter is our radius. We'll use that throughout the lesson. All right, it's your turn. I want you to understand that the diameter of a circle is 12 inches. You're going to find the radius. Pause the video here. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So given the diameter of 12 inches of our circle, so the distance from one point on the outer side through the center to the other side, this entire segment is 12 inches. We're gonna find the radius. We're gonna remember that what we just learned is the radius is equivalent to half of the diameter. So the radius is equal to half our diameter of 12. Half of 12 is going to be six inches. So if our diameter is 12, our radius is six. So think about that, six plus six is 12. Here's another one for you. The radius of a circle is eight inches. I'd like you to find the diameter. Please pause here, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. 
So now we're being given the radius is eight inches and we're asked to find the diameter. Well, the diameter is equivalent to D equals two R. So we're gonna say D is equal to two times eight, our radius. So eight plus another eight or two times eight is gonna give us a diameter of 16 inches. Now let's talk about the area of a circle. The area of a circle is the area inside. So I've shaded it all pink. So the area here, everything inside. The formula to find the area of a circle is A equals pi r squared, pi multiplied by r squared. Remembering that r squared is r times r. So you could also think about it as pi times r times r. When we think about pi, pi is a symbol. It represents an approximate value of 3.14. That is rounded. So when we give an answer in terms of pi using the symbol, it's exact. When we use 3.14, we're approximating. So remembering that this formula uses the radius, which is half the diameter or the distance from the center to any point on the outside. Now let's find the area of a circle. We're told that the radius of a circle is seven centimeters and we're gonna find the area. So let's do this two ways, in terms of pi and using 3.14 for pi. So if you're, this will be in the instructions of the problem if you're asked to do it. If not, I always leave it in terms of pi. It's one less step. So area is equal to pi multiplied by r squared. We're looking for the radius, which we're given is seven. So let's rewrite our formula and replace r squared with seven squared. Now we're gonna do seven squared, seven times seven is 49. And because we're leaving pi pi in terms of pi it's called, I'm gonna answer this 49 pi, our unit is centimeters, it's area, so it's centimeters squared. So this is 49 pi or 49 times pi centimeters squared is the area of this circle. Another way to do this is to not leave it in terms of pi. We're gonna use our area formula where we're gonna put pi to be 3.14 and evaluate for our radius of seven. So let's do that. Pi becomes 3.14, r squared is gonna be seven squared. So now we're gonna do 3.14 times seven times seven, which is gonna give us an area of 3.14 times 49, or 153.86 centimeters squared. So 153 and 86 hundredths centimeters squared is the approximate value of this value. We can't say they're equivalent because pi represents a non-terminating decimal. So this is gonna be a non-terminating decimal that goes on forever. So at some point, you're gonna have to round it. So this is rounded to the nearest hundredth because pi was rounded to the nearest hundredth. So if you're asked to use 3.14 for pi, just keep in mind you're approximating your answer. If you leave it in what we call in terms of pi, then it's more exact. Now, finding the area of a circle, here, we're given the diameter of a circle is 11 meters, and we're gonna find the area. So again, we're gonna do it in terms of pi and using 3.14 for pi. We're using our area formula, area equals pi r squared. We're gonna begin by looking for our radius, but we're given the diameter, remembering that our radius is equal to half the diameter. So our radius is gonna be half of 11, which is 5.5 or five and a half. We're gonna take that radius value and plug it into our area formula. So 5.5 squared, and then pi times 5.5 squared is 30 and 25 hundredths. So we're gonna leave this one in terms of pi, so we're just gonna rewrite it so the pi symbol comes after just like you would an x, 30 and 25 hundredths pi meters squared. Now let's do it using 3.14 for pi. So now we're gonna replace pi with 3.14, and we have our radius of five and a half. So 3.14 multiplied by five and a half squared. Five and a half squared 
is 30 and 25 hundredths. Multiply that by 3.14 and I get 94.985 meters squared. I did not round because this didn't instruct me to round. So I usually allow students to round as long as they follow the rounding rules, they can round. But if it's only to two or three digits, I don't round because it just keeps it more exact and then I can't make an error. So there you have finding the area of a circle using pi and 3.14 for pi. Now it's your turn. The diameter of a circle has a length of 18 meters. We're asked what is the area of the circle and we're instructed to use 3.14 for pi. So you only have to do this one way. So go ahead and pause the video now, find the area of the circle, and then come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. We're told the diameter of the circle is 18 meters. We're finding the area and we're going to use 3.14 for pi. So let's begin by writing our area formula for a circle. We're going to replace pi with 3.14 and find our radius. So area is equal to 3.14 for pi and now I need my radius. I've been given the diameter. So I know that half of 18 is 9. So if my diameter is 18, my radius is 9. So let's put that in our formula, 9 squared. 9 squared is 81. 81 multiplied by 3.14 is 254 and 34 hundredths meters squared. Now let's talk about the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is the perimeter of the circle or distance around the circle. So perimeter is linear. Think about measuring a fence, right? The fence. This is the fancy word circumference because it's curved for perimeter. So when we talk about that, that's at outer edge, the distance around. The formula to find the circumference of a circle is circumference equals pi multiplied by diameter. Remember our diameter, any point on the outer side through the center to the other side is your diameter. Or you could use circumference is equal to two multiplied by pi multiplied by r, which is our radius. Remembering that radius is half the diameter. So two multiplied by r is the same as the diameter. That's why they're interchangeable. Now let's practice using our formula. The radius of a circle has a length of five inches and we're gonna find the circumference and we're using 3.14 for pi. So let's write down our circumference formula because we're given radius, I'm gonna use two pi r. So we're gonna replace pi with 3.14 and r with five because the radius is five. So c equals two multiplied by 3.14 times five. So two times 3.14 times five has a value or a product of 31.4, 31, 31 and 4 tenths inches. Now circumference is what we call a linear measurement. It's not inches squared, it's just inches. Now it's your turn. You're told the diameter of a circle has a length of 21 centimeters. What is the circumference of the circle? And you're gonna use 3.14 for pi. Pause here, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So we're told that the diameter of the circle is 21 centimeters. We're gonna find the circumference and we're gonna use 3.14 for pi. So this time I'm gonna use circumference equals pi times diameter. We're gonna replace pi with 3.14 and the value of the diameter here is 21. So let's do that. Pi 3.14 and our diameter is 21. We're gonna find the product of 3.14 multiplied by 21, which is 65 and 94 hundredths, and our unit is centimeters. Here's our last problem of the lesson. We're told that a Frisbee has a circumference of 48 pi centimeters. We're asked, what is the area of the Frisbee? I'd like you to pause the video here, do your best work, and then come back and hit play to see mine. Welcome back. So we're told that the circumference of the Frisbee is 48 pi, and we're asked to find the area of the Frisbee. 
So we know that the area is equal to pi r squared. We're not given the radius. We're given the circumference. But I can use the circumference to find the radius. So I'm going to put 48 pi in my equation for the c circumference. And now I can solve for r because I only have one unknown. To solve for r, I have to undo multiply by 2 pi. The inverse of multiply is to divide. If I divide the right side by 2 pi, I must divide the left side by 2 pi. 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1. 1 r is the same as r. So my radius is equal to pi divided by pi is 1. So 48 divided by 2 is 24. So if my circumference is 48 pi, my radius is 24. So let's go over to our area formula because that's what we're doing. We're finding the area of our Frisbee. So area is equal to pi multiplied by our radius squared. This instruction did not tell me to use 3.14 for pi. So I'm going to leave my area in terms of pi. So 24 squared is 576 multiplied by pi. So my area here is 576 pi centimeters squared. And there you have it. Radius of a circle, the diameter of a circle, the circumference of a circle, and the area of a circle. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.